Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Persona 5 Royal and we've kind of got some freedom for a while. 13 days to be exact. So, we get to do what we want. Now we could hang out with Futaba, but there's something that we need to start today. And uh, that's going to show up on our map here, I believe. Let's go ahead and check this. Mm -hmm. Gamer King. So, if you remember... We have a request that we weren't quite able to finish here because we had a cheater that we can't beat. So we need somebody to teach us how to beat a cheater. So that Gamer King is the person that we need to go and talk to. And he is over in, what is that, Akihabara? Is that what that, yep, Akihabara. So that's where we're gonna go. Now, um, also, for my viewers, um, I've been having basically kind of a slowdown on my channel. Uh, my, Subscribers are going up by about, you know, 25% less than they have been in the past. Um, this is the point where I just remind people, um, you know, like half of the people watching these are unsubscribed. And just because we hit that thousand marker does not mean that uh, I don't need more subscribers. So YouTube has basically been kind of slowing down showing people my content. And basically what I need is people to engage with my content. In other words, you need to view it, liking it, and subscribing it. Those are the major things that are going to help my channel. If you're doing any one of those things, you're helping, so don't feel the need. But I did just want to remind people, you know, if you haven't subscribed and you really like my content, it might be something uh, worth doing for me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to keep that in everybody's mind that, you know, just because we hit that thousand marker doesn't mean I don't need more subscribers, because I absolutely do. Otherwise, basically, this channel will just start to stagnate. And I am don't want that to happen, because I really enjoy what I'm doing here. But let's go. Who's that kid? He's amazing. That's the king. Oh, I've heard about him. He's just a little guy, huh? Must still be in grade school. He's dual wielding? Yeah, he's playing two opponents all by himself. And it's still too easy for him. Phew. Well, I guess that's that. What a monster. <laughs> the king may have some tips on how to defeat the cheater. I mean, he does have a hat that says get smoked and a jacket that says noobs. What a cool guy. I should negotiate with him. What do you want? Okay, maybe not. Maybe he's not a cool guy. Can you teach me some tricks, kid? Nah, no, sounds like too much work. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you all. This kid and Oya oh yeah, are my least favorite confidants in this game. They're just, they just... And honestly, this guy has a worse personality than Oya does. Oya just has useless abilities, so that's what makes her bad. This guy just, you just kinda hate him. <laughs> Don't take it personal, I turn everyone down later. There's an invincible player. Invincible, huh? You mean that guy who cheats, right? It really makes me mad when he does that. I don't care. But I can still beat him, so I don't really care. Just forget about him. He's bothering someone. Uh-huh. You sound like the Phantom Thieves. So, you're saying you want to beat the cheater? You seem like a nice guy, but just let it go. The Phantom Thieves are really cool, aren't they? Are you a fan too? Have you ever met them? I saw their first success with my own eyes. <laughs> oh, you mean at Shujin Academy? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. But, um, teaching you how to play Gunabout won't be easy, and I won't get anything out of it. Well, let's make a deal. Jeez, you're really persistent. I'm just a grade schooler, you know. How about this? I want to get to know the fan of Thieves. It's probably impossible, but if you can help me do that, then I'll teach you how to play. Well, what do you say? Is it a deal? I'll see what I can do. Huh? Wait, what? You're not going to say no? Well, if you really want to that much, then... Phew. I thought for sure you were just going to give up. Wow, I didn't see this coming. Also, I think earlier in the playthrough I mentioned that my first playthrough, there were two confidants that I didn't finish by the end. I was really close to getting a max confidant run. But the two that I missed were Oya and this kid. <laughs> but the Phantom Thieves hide their true identities, right? Are you sure I can get to know them? Well, what's your name? 
Huh? You're gonna tell them my name? My name's Shinya Oda. Hey! Tell the Phantom Thieves my name and have them post it somewhere. Only they'd be able to access. That'll be good enough as an autograph and proof that you, they know my name. <laughs> proof that you really know the Phantom Thieves, huh? We need something credible for this kid to believe us. Didn't Futaba say she hacked in the Gunabout server or something? Let's discuss this with Futaba. She might have a good idea. Okay. Um, let's go talk to Futaba right now about that. She'll be in Yang and Jaya. All right. You found the king? No surprise there. So, did he tell you how to take down the cheater? No. He's going to on one condition. He wants us to introduce him to the Phantom Thieves. We can't just give ourselves away, though. That's where you come in. Maybe you could hack into the Gunabout server and do something? Mm -hmm. But we won't be able to get in touch with him that way. We could send him a calling card. A calling card? What, what are we going to steal? Oh, yeah. Oh, how about the homepage? I already hacked into it, so it's as good as stolen. <laughs> you already hacked into the Gunabout page. What? <laughs> hmm, okay, I'll, I'll write a calling card saying that we're going to steal the Gunabout homepage. After that, you'll need to leave evidence that the Phantom Thieves hacked into it. The King will have no choice but to believe it was really us. <laughs> Ooh, this sounds like fun. I'll put your logo smack dab at the top of the front page. Perfect, we'll go see the King. Oh, and we'll let you know before we talk to him, so wait for our word to start the hacking. All right. You can count on me. Alright, I think we might be able to go straight back to him. Let's find out. Oh, I could have gone straight to the arcade. Hey! The fake calling card is ready for use. Should we ask Futaba to do the hacking? Contact her. I'm ready whenever. Go ahead. It'll be fine. Leave it to me. Okay, I'm hacking in now. Any progress with the Phantom Thieves? Calling card? Huh? Oh, there's something written on it. Thanks for your support. Please help those in need. This is a promise to you from the Phantom Thieves. We're going to post a secret message just for you on the game's official website. Oh, is... is this for real? I mean... You can probably just buy one of these cards at the store. The official Gunabout website? Whoa! The mark of the Phantom Thieves! They hacked the site! Just like they did on Midget's site! Which means... You were able to contact the real Phantom Thieves! No way! How'd you do it? Through a secret exchange on the black market. Oh, that's so cool! So they want to remain anonymous. Uh, yeah? Wow, I can't believe they sent me a message. I wasn't expecting much from you, but you're actually pretty cool. I've always wanted validation from a kid wearing a get smoke tap. Though, but you fulfilled your part of the deal, so I'll teach you how to shoot. Once you stop them from moving, you gotta hit their weak point right away. You should be able to inflict a lot of damage to the cheater this way. Let's get started. Come on, you gotta aim. No, 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 you're just stopping their movement by doing that. Ugh, no, not like that. Are you taking this seriously? You gotta focus on your second shot. He's almost like a different person when he gets mad. It's that gamer rage. His instructions are precise, but also spartan. The king swearing up a storm today. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> That's what happens when he teams up with another player. And why everyone also watches him from a distance. Alright, looks like you kind of got the hang of it. I think you'll be able to beat that cheater now. Well, that was quick. I have a bad habit of swearing when I get all worked up. Sorry. But I think you have a lot of potential. More than most people. If you want, 
I can teach you a few other moves, too. I have the ultimate trump card. So tell me more about the Phantom Thieves. Hey, leave it to me, kid. I've made a deal with Shinya. I think he's the last confidant. Yeah. I think he is. According to the reports, it seems your skill at handling a gun is quite impressive. Either you taught yourself, or you had a capable coach by your side. Where did you learn how to handle a gun? From a child, how about that? <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the tower persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Okay, we got the Tower Arcana now. So, Confidant, Skilled Gamer, Tower, Rank 1. New ability, Downshot, allows you to knock down an enemy with a special shot once per infiltration. So, that's kind of cool. Once per infiltration, I mean, it's pretty limited, but, you know could be pretty useful in specific situations, as long as you save it for the right moment. So, let's talk about tower, uh, since this is the last one. Um, so, it depicts a tower that is on fire and being struck by lightning, often interpreted as meaning danger, crisis, destruction, as well as liberation. When upright, the card shows unexpected change, renovation, catastrophe, and destruction. When reversed, it indicates obstacles, volatile situations, and losses. So right now we kind of don't know enough about him to see where the connections might lie with Tower, so as we move forward with his Confidant rank, we'll have to keep an eye out for, um, you know, how his story might link with the Tower Arcana. Alright. It's earlier than usual today. I gotta go. See you later. Interacting with Shinya has made my heart grow. I feel like my kindness has increased. Okay. It's kind of good that uh, doing him, um, doing his confidant gives us kindness. One of the few that we actually need still. Hey. We'll have to get a reading next time. Uh, Vernaxon, I'm so glad I caught you. Hey, we should exchange IDs. It's not like I'm here every day, so... Sure. Cool. There, got it. I'll hit you up when I have time to train you and gun about. Bye! See you later, Vernaxon. Okay. Ah, you're back. Things are getting really crazy online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city, too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? This fervor may be too extreme. It is, it is a dangerous omen. We could face great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. Don't scare us like that. Ain't no way somebody's gonna figure that out. Either way, this excitement has definitely piqued the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We'll need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we gotta be the ones to sneak around? Don't make sense. Okay, we don't really need to do these anymore, so I'm actually done with these. Um, it would just give us more knowledge, which we don't need, so. How's this do? Hey, hey! Ooh, okay. I could have gotten a reading before doing that, but that's okay. Guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, all we need is guts. Oh man, we're so close. Alright. Oh yeah. Alright, we don't have to do nutrients anymore either, so we're kind of... We can let the plant die. I'll, I'll, not, I'll try not to let the plant die. I'll actually try to continue feeding the plant. 
because that's just rude. Ooh, we can finish Kawakami's? Um, is her, is that a rank 8 or a rank 9? I don't remember. But let's see, uh, who else might be available tonight. So we've got Hifumi, Kawakami, and Akechi is still not available. Let's make sure that's true. Um, I believe since now that we've talked to him, he will turn blue again on that screen when he's ready to, you know, hang out with us again. Hi. Yeah, okay. So, I was going to have Kawakami, um, do some laundry for me tonight, but I think we'll hang out with her instead. So, we need, um, Temperance. We've got it. Biako. Okay. Oh. Listen. Something unbelievable just happened. I'm still in shock. I don't know where to start explaining. There's other stuff I want to ask you about, too. You'll request me today, right? Hey. Thanks. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. I'll be right over, so hold on. I'm so glad you requested me. I have big news. Takase-kun's guardians came to my house today and apologized to me. They told me I won't have to send any more money, and that they'll return everything I paid them. Ooh, that's probably a lot of money. <laughs> Hell yeah, girl. It's like they're completely different people. Like what happened with Mr. Kamashida. Hey, you, you wouldn't be, um... <laughs> Careful now. Uh, anyway, it's such a relief. They apologized about Takase-kun and admitted that what they did was terrible. They even told me that I am a good teacher. And so, I decided to really quit my part-time maid job today. I've been talking to my boss about it ever since I was hospitalized. It took a while to work out who would cover my shifts. I didn't want to inconvenience anyone. Well... See, she's even still thinking about other people. She's actually a good person. Now I can finally make a fresh start as a teacher. I can take care of my students and earn their trust. That's the ideal teacher I aspire to become. I bet I'll be an old woman by the time I achieve my dreams. <laughs> Aren't you old already? That's rude. She's probably my age. Honestly, so... Yeah, I, I couldn't say that in good conscience. Plus, the girl looks great, let's be honest. And she looks better in teacher form than maid form. I hold to that, and I will always think that. Teacher Kawakami, you hot girl. Um, nonsense. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm still within the demographic age range of what's considered young. Damn right. I was always able to rely on you, Master. You helped me come to a lot of realizations because you were such a good listener. You don't have to call me Master anymore. Thanks again. In fact, it's always been weird. <laughs> oh, crap. Thank you for using our service. <laughs> I love the art for that one. So over the top. Today marks the day I graduate from being your maid. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your hard work as a master. I feel a deepened connection with Kawakami. Okay, that's our rank nine. We got one more. We got one more with the with the crazy maid teacher. All right. Love you, girl. So, um... At any rate, what are you going to do once I stop coming here? Can you handle the cleaning on your own? I'm pretty worried about the state this place is in. <laughs> I feel like you don't put much thought into your diet, either. Besides, won't you be lonely, hmm? Oh, that might be the, uh, the date option. Not really. Careful now. Careful now, Analog. I think you're bluffing, but I guess I'm not surprised. It must be so bizarre having your homeroom teacher in your bedroom. <laughs> but you won't mind me visiting the cafe area downstairs, right? We can chat over curry. Despite how I am, you never gave up on me, so as your homeroom teacher, I'll always protect you. Oh, and of course, I'll keep my initial promise, too. The one about slacking off in class. See you later.
Hi, thanks for today. On my way home, I remembered everything. All the old memories from when I decided to become a teacher. Like when I was going through the courses for it, or my first year as a teacher. Back then, I would have done anything for my students. I felt like I was capable of anything. But somewhere along the way, I forgot about all that. Reigniting your original resolve is easier said than done. Honestly, I agree. But meeting you helped me remember all my determination from before. From now on, I'll support you as your teacher, so you can rely on me as much as you want, okay? That's all I wanted to say. Okay, I'll see you at school. Good night. I wasn't paying close enough attention to know if we have enough affinity. Maybe I'll just do a reading to find out. Just to be sure. When is President Okumura going to get down and beg for forgiveness? The sooner they get it done, the better it is for society. We're counting on you, Phantom Thieves. Don't let us down. Those politicians and Okumura both deserve divine punishment. Oh, this place has sold out a Phantom Thieves merch, too. Alright. When I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day, they had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. It, it'd spell the end of this country if kids started wanting to become more like the Phantom Thieves. You're already in your second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. Really? We should? I didn't. If you're looking for safety and stability, a civil servant is a good option. Hey, Vernet. Why don't you try? I bet you all think that civil service is all office work, but the fishermen of, of Nagaragawa are actually civil servants as well. So tell me, which sector they belong to? Um... Cultural Affairs? The Imperial Household Agency, of course. I knew that. Who does this is it? Very good! I'm impressed you knew that. Only the Cormorant fishermen of, of Nagaragawa... Did I say that right? I think so. <laughs> ...are officially used by the Imperial Household. Those fishermen are granted spots on the Imperial Household Agency's Board of Ceremonies. That said, you can't break into that industry even if you wanted to since it's a hereditary occupation. That's weird. If you want a government job, try for a spot in the diet. Though some may say that's hereditary too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's not go there. Hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice going! I'm honestly fed up with politicians these days. Isn't there anyone who seriously wants to improve this country? No. They want more money. Oh yeah, they said on the news that the cabinet's approval rating went down again. They're the complete opposite of us. Our popularity and approval have been going through the roof. Do you know the answer? Therefore, in this context, the nuance of the idiom is the complete opposite. I saw a lot of errors on the previous test, so please be more careful in the future. Hey! Excuse me, no sleeping in class. Today's examples will be on your entrance exam, so make sure you know them. What's up with Kawakami? She, she usually looks so tired. The girl's fired up, man. I talked to her this morning about my future, and she was super polite, friendly even. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. She even gave me advice about my girlfriend. Yes. It's almost like she cares about her job again. Now that she's back on her feet, Kawakami seems to be working hard as a teacher. You kill it, girl. Hell yeah. That's what I like to see. How can you not like Kawakami's story? I mean, let's just bar the fact that there is a possibility of a romantic relationship with a high school student which is highly illegal um, that did not happen in this playthrough therefore it does not happen so ignore that part and otherwise Kawakami's great <laughs> you know when you don't make her break the law by making the game make her a romance option uh, that one's on the developers let's be done let's be let's be real <laughs> Okay, so we can hang out with uh, this guy. Uh, what's his name? Shinya Oda. Shinya Oda, right? Okay. 
Um, I think we can actually go back in and do that mementos request, but man, I don't want to. I think we'll wait, um, since it's not required to unlock anything particularly, um, well, at all. We don't need to, so we're good. Um, but what are we going to do? So, Shinya is an option. Makoto, ooh, Maruki. Okay, we're going to do Maruki. Like I said, every time we see Maruki, we're going to hang out with him until he is ready to go. So, let's go ahead and do a reading for um, for Kawakami. I don't know if I actually need it, but this will confirm or deny. Feels good. Here we go. Your feelings should reach the other person. I bet you can deepen your friendship even further now. All right, well, we know she's ready, so I like that. Um, did we read the library book? I think we actually did. So let's go there real quick. What would you like? Because there was another Thinking, Guts one. Like? Guts is the last thing we need, so... Yeah, we did. Because it was the Gallant Road, right? Okay. Yeah. Call hmm. of Cthulhu. What is today? Thursday? Okay, we haven't rolled into a new week yet. Welcome. Good work today. It's already autumn. You'd expect it to get a little less hot, huh? Thank you for helping me the other day. My paper's coming to an end, and it's all thanks to you. So, do you want to stop by? I won't take too much of your time. Mm. Thank you. Is this his last one? I don't remember. Now step right in. I've got some snacks and drinks ready. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You see... There's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. I know this is a little personal, but... You remember how my former girlfriend came up the other day? Rumi? Yeah. What's up, man? We were even engaged, if you can believe that. She was so cheerful. I mean, she could get pretty aggressive. She was always kind of hot-headed, but... Always so kind, too. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. I didn't deserve her, but if we'd had our shot, my life would have been so much happier than it had ever been. Did they break up or did she die? Because I'm getting the feeling that it was worse than just a breakup. Maybe I'm wrong? <laughs> but reality's never that simple. Oh god. A burglar broke into her family's home. Rumi and I had been visiting. We were there to see what he'd done to them. It was just bad luck. But it didn't end there. He must have been desperate to escape. He attacked Rumi on his way out. I was right there with her, and I couldn't do anything. <laughs> Pathetic, right? No. I think that a lot of people would end up in that situation. We were lucky Rumi's injuries weren't more severe. Well, her physical ones, at least. But the shock of the incident was too much. She had a mental breakdown. We talked about that, didn't we? How wounds of the heart aren't as straightforward as physical ones? Well, I mean, his motivations are definitely... becoming a lot more clear. She never really recovered from what happened, even after all this time. I kind of lost myself in that pain for a while, too. Why? She didn't deserve that. None of them did. None of them did anything wrong. Sorry. I'm sorry. When I saw her in that hospital bed, I made a vow. I swore that I'd do all I could to fight back against the unfairness of reality. If someone suffered like that, I'd help. Like I said before, Rumi's in a better mental place now. She's happy. But 
That pain I felt back then, that's how this project was born. And thanks to you, I've finally found the true goal of that research, too. Cognitive science? I don't care how long it takes me, I will make my dream come true. I wonder <laughs> if we led him to, like, we clearly led him to cognitive science, but that may also mean that he, because he's studying it, he may fall in with the bad guys because of that. Just because they are the people who are studying it. Hmm, I wonder. For Rumi's sake, of course, but for you too, Vernakun. Like, I want this guy to be just a good dude, you know? And I think that he is. But I think he might get used by the bad guys or something. I don't know. I don't know where his story is going. I just don't, but... I like Maruki. I do. I honestly don't have the words to say what all of this means to me, but I can at least say this. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks to you, I found my answer. And once it's ready, I hope you'll let me use it to help you find the happiness you deserve. Yeah, I'm getting- I'm concerned, man. I'm just concerned. My path is cleared now. I think this will probably be the last time I come to you about the paper. It's kind of sad. Now I know how you feel. It meant a lot to me, too. I'll let you know when I finally finish that paper. When I do, I'll have to thank you one last time. You helped me to... You help me see my dream through. I owe you so much. Now. But for now, I should uphold my, hen my end of the deal. I've got a really special one for you today. I think you're ready for something on another, on another level now. I can sense a strong bond of friendship for Maruki. Damn, man. So rank 9 is the threshold for true ending stuff, so... Um, I'm assuming that we will know when that will complete. It may complete automatically, so eventually somewhere in the main story. So Takudo, Maruki. Arcana Counselor, rank 9. New ability is Detox DX. Raises the chance of Detox X succeeding. Cool. That's the one that All just right. heals ailments, right? Also, there's one more thing I want to tell you, but... I'll save it until I finish my paper. I just hope you can forgive me for it. Maruki, dude. Why you say it? Why you say it like that? Uh, sorry. Uh, don't mind me. Sorry, that came out way too ominous, right? Dude, Maruki. If you know I'm going to be upset about it, maybe don't. What is he up to, man? Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right, and I'm concerned. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Well, see you. Mm. Maruki. Ah, you're back. Hey, we can hang out with Pops. Okay, so we got Sajiro. Chihaya, oh yeah. Maybe it's time to... Well, let's check on all three of them. Um, first off, Kawakami, you're going to do a little bit of laundry for us. Okay. Okay, so basically these ones. that job, but I can't turn you down if you ask me for something. What'd you need today? Laundry? Got it. Leave it to me. Oh, this outfit? I might have quit my job, but it'd be complicated if a teacher visited her student for personal reasons. So I'll be wearing this here as a bit of a disguise. Hope you don't mind. You do you, girl. Okay. So we've got Sajiro, Oya, and Chihaya. 
So you're rank six. What's your next ability? Damn, all the way at nine, huh? It's a good, it's a good ability though. It's really a good ability. Really, you're only at five. Preview of all abilities for a confidant of your choice. I've never really used that. It's not that useful, but we do need to keep working on her. We really need to work on EY. Yeah, oh yeah too. I think we'll do Chihaya today though. So, Fortune. Nope, don't got one. You'd like to read that these are the paths you have walked. This person you'll withdraw this for this is your pop such rudeness. I'll take care of him. Alright, how do I tell if he's learned his thing yet? Taking it out already? Special skill. Okay, he got it. Looks even stronger now. You want to let it out? Okay, Null Nuke. What do we replace for this, though? Honestly, it might be the accuracy and evasion. I wonder if I have energy shower on somebody else. The cell's empty. Get it to so. Who's it gonna be? Okay, anybody else? Maybe I should train one of these away from you. You already have evade fire. Want to train anybody right now? Done already. I think we're fine. What? No slacking off. Hmm? Oh. I was curious about you, so I read your fortune. I tried numerous times, but the Empress card keeps appearing. Oh. We don't have all the confidants because Haru. <laughs> That's right. We haven't. We haven't technically actually unlocked her confidant. Anyway, please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Let's do a verification test. I've been waiting for you. You won't believe what happened. <laughs> the thing is... Recently, my reputation has really started shooting up. A lot of my clients have, uh, clients leave happy now, too. I even managed to use my own powers to alter some fates that had once seemed inevitable. I suppose all you really need to change fate is a strong will, like what you have. I wish I could do more, though. Are you on break right now, Mifune-kun? What? Uh, Fukurai-san. So are you the apprentice I've heard so much about? I've been wondering, why are you so interested in Mifune-kun? I like fortune telling. And that's why you volunteered to apprentice under her? You must be quite a big fan. That aside, I have to commend your judgment in choosing Mifune-kun. Her fortunes are like a light guiding lost lambs through the unending darkness ahead. Oh, um... By the way, vernak -san, this man here is Fukurai-san. He's, um, the chairman of the ADP. 
Oh right, you don't know about the ADP yet. It stands for Assembly of the Divine Power. Our goal is to relieve the hearts and minds of today's weary souls via healing events and seminars. I hate you already. We also sell holy stones, the well from which our divine power springs. They are a large part of our business. Um... Fukurai-san, um... That reminds me, Yokota-kun was telling me you've been acting a little strange recently. More importantly, it seems you've started falling behind on your holy stone sales quotas. Is everything okay? Y yes I'll cover the decrease in revenue with my fortune-telling fees. Ugh. Um, Fukurai-san, I, um, I'm not sure how effective these holy stones really are. Excuse me? Do you remember who showed you the way when you arrived here from the countryside lost and confused? Do you remember who saved you when you were stuck working in a seedy club with no place to turn? It was me. Are you saying you no longer have trust in someone who's done so much for you? Th that's not it. Then enough of this skepticism. Just focus on continuing your role as the Maiden of Relief. Read the fortunes of those unfortunate souls who come to us and lead them to salvation with the Holy Stones. Maiden of Relief? That's a nickname I gave her over at the ADP. Beautiful, don't you think? You don't want things to go back to how they were, do you, Mifune-kun? Don't you remember breaking down in front of me, telling me how everyone called you a monster? If you don't carry your weight as the Maiden of Relief, you'll be exactly that. A monster. This guy... sucks. This guy's sketchy. Renaxon. Fine, if you want to spend your time fooling around with this child, go right ahead. But don't forget, Mifune-kun, the ADP is the only place you'll ever belong. Exactly what cults do to you. They make you feel like you have nowhere else to turn. Ah. You gotta get out, girl. I've never actually worked at a nightclub. I did get tricked into walking into one, though. Anyway, the chairman is known for exaggerating details. You must think I'm weird, huh? All this talk about me being a maiden or a monster? You're just Chihaya to me. What? N nobody's ever treated me so nicely before. But... By the way, it was pretty amazing how we stood up to the chairman back there. Yeah, good for you. Keep it up. For real, you gotta get out of there, girl. I would never have been able to talk to him about the Holy Stones had I been alone. But your strength helped me speak up. I need to be strong like you more often. Rank 6. Alright. Um... Even so, the chairman seems serious about the whole Holy Stone issue. He'll make me pay a fine if I don't meet my quotas, and there's a huge penalty for resigning from my post. I suppose my fate is impossible to change after all. Um... Anyway, I should close up for today. Until next time! Good night! Oh, don't worry, girl. We're gonna help you out of that situation. Um, I'm sorry about today. I already know what I must do in order to change my fate, but whenever I face the chairman, I just can't find the courage to say what I need to. Be honest with yourself. Oh, you're absolutely right. Nothing will come of making excuses. I'm the only one who can change my weakness. You're so strong, Vernaxon. I'm going to think about all this a little more. Thank you once again for today. I'll see you next time. Can I do an affinity reading for Chihaya? I don't remember if I can. Hi! Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Alright, I'll see you later. Okay, the rest of them we're going to sell for points. rest of our dirty armor. Morning. Hey, are you keeping up with comments online? There's a lot of hate for Akumara and a lot of expectations for us. I hope Haru's dad had a change of heart soon. Has a change of heart soon. All we can do is wait. 
No way, man. Yeah, you got a point, but I'm positive this will make a bigger impact than before. As usual, it'll be a while before we see some results, but man, I am so looking forward to this. Hi, everyone. Let's get started with class. How far did we go last time? Well... Is this on? Miss Chuno, please come to the faculty office at once. What's going on? I'm off to the faculty office, so make sure you study on your own. Guts book? What do you want to do? Efficiency. Guts. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do the guts book. Wow! This is very detailed for a story about a fantasy world. Oh. You still got time to read. Let's go a little further. The chance encounter with the great old ones was truly horrifying. Now oh. I want to play Bloodborne. <laughs> so you finish reading Cry of Cthulhu. Grimoire, the Grimoire Necronomicon. I wonder if its author also wields great power. The world in that book is so frightening, though, and it must have taken a lot of courage to read it. <laughs> hmm, maybe tonight we'll do the last Big Bang challenge and get a reading for it and see if we can finish out Guts. Damn it. What could that have been about? Well, let's resume class. Thank you, Kawakami. Okay, Yusuke on... Sell all. We won't get the grab bag until we roll into the next I'll just uh, add this. into the next dungeon section. Oh, so these are pretty good. Bell physical medium? Hell yeah. Okay, snakeskin scarf, endurance five. Resist brainwash versus 30 HP. It's a big enough boost that, oh, that's Futaba. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I think Luck might be the only stat with Futaba that matters. I think Luck may actually increase her ability to support us with her random abilities. Um, okay. So, what are we doing today? Well, maybe Big Bang tonight, maybe. So who do I want to hang out with today? Probably Yusuke? Yusuke and On. Who? You're at six, On's at eight. Um, let's go ahead and get a reading for Chihaya, if we can. I don't know if we can, if I'm being honest. What shall we do? can. Here we go. It's a reading about you, girl. This isn't weird at all.
Okay, she's ready. I just wasn't what sure. What do you think? Okay, and now... So, lovers or emperor? Do I have either? No. Oh, add lovers. Okay, we'll go ahead and do on them. is, Shiho's moving away today, and before she goes, she wants to see the school roof again. Ugh. It's still hard for her to climb stairs, though, so do you think you could help me carry her? Like, I wonder why she would want to go back to the roof, you know? On, Analog-kun, I'm pretty heavy, huh? Thanks for the help. Hey! Doubtful. Isn't Analog super reliable? Mm-hmm. Just like you were- just like you were telling me. Blush. <laughs> We're so high up. Why'd you want to come here? I think to settle things. To tell you the truth, I wanted to reenact that moment. Wearing these clothes, standing here again, I wanted to know what it would feel like. What about back then? What were you thinking? I... I didn't want to die. I just needed to escape. It was like another person inside of me was screaming, telling me to come up here. It almost felt like that person was trying to kill me. Oh. But I know that person was part of me too, my weakness. So I wanted to see if she would show up again now. She's gone, isn't she? Yeah, she doesn't exist anymore. You're so strong, Shiho. The only reason you can stand here now is because of how hard you worked for your rehab. Maybe, but that was all thanks to you, On. Huh? Me? Because I saw how hard you were trying, too. Trying to be strong, to be cool, wanting to be an action star, striving to be a better model. You were so positive. Your eyes sparkled with motivation. With you putting that much effort in, I couldn't just let my life go to waste in a hospital bed. That's why I wanted to stand again. It was because of you. Being able to change others, that's what true strength is. Shiho. I'm, I'm not strong. I'm nothing without you. I'm just a lonely, scared girl. On. I'm sorry for deciding to transfer schools. Shiho. I'm... I'm gonna become a real model. That way you'll be able to keep seeing me, and keep giving life your all. I'm gonna be in a bunch of magazines, and I'll say tons of good stuff in interviews. So... So... Stay healthy, work hard, but not too much. And keep in touch. Just take care of yourself. Huh. I love you. Once I can smile again from the bottom of my heart, I'll come visit. Yeah. Well, that was touching. Shiho left with her family. Hey. Oh, God, that would be tough for her. Like, it really would. Like, sh that's her best friend. I need to be the number one model around. I made a promise with Shiho, so there's no turning back now. I'm going to study how to properly exercise and even relearn how to walk the runway. I want to pick up some other languages and cultures, too, so I can start doing overseas events. Because, well... The only way I can help Shiho is to show her how hard I'm working. I believe in you. Yeah. If I can do that, Shiho, she'll definitely... Damn it, I told myself I wouldn't cry. But it just won't stop. I should choose my words carefully. I guess I'm alone again, huh? So, this is a romance option. If you're going to romance on, you're definitely going to want to go with this one. You you have all of us. All the Phantom Thieves. We're all here for you. We're all your friend. Thanks. Oh, you're right. 
I have our team now. There are people suffering out there, just waiting for us to save them. That's why I need to do my best. Not just for our team, but for everyone who needs our help. <laughs> Analog, let's do this together. Ana's showing an even greater resolve than ever before. Rank 9 in Lovers, on to Kamiki. So, new ability is Protect, chance to shield Joker from an otherwise fatal attack. Alright. Anyway, I should be heading home. I'll be fine by myself. Oh, and thanks for going out with me today. Um, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, of course not. Bye! See you later! <laughs> on ran off. I should go home. In case you would like to say, stay apprised of the situation, little has changed with my father so far. I appreciate the consideration. I have yet to truly speak with him, though. As I've said before, this is just what happened to Matarame. There's no need to worry. Still, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you're all waiting to hear about the mental shutdown culprit. Father is physically weak, so it may take some time. No need to get hasty. It's all right. He's right. He'll definitely have a change of heart. In that case, ain't it time to be talking about our next celebration party? Too soon, too stupid. What? <laughs> we can talk about that some other time. For now, let's wait patiently. Yes, I'll contact everyone if anything comes up. Okay. Well, I think we're going to end this episode right here. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good one.